Good day and welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be showing you all how to put on to dress like a lawyer, which comprises putting on the wig and gown and other apparel that lawyers put on. Okay, so this video is specifically for, for men, not for the feminine gender. Because I'm not a lady and you don't expect me to start teaching you how to put on ladies' collarette and the rest. So it doesn't work that way, alright? So when I was caught to bar some time ago, one of the major challenges I faced was in a bit to learn how to put on these things. It was a bit difficult for me. You know, I remember the first time my friend even had to help me in a bit to adjust all those things. My time at Supreme Court, I couldn't, I wasn't even comfortable with all these things, but at the time I got used to it. So this video is specifically to help, you know, new wig on how to dress properly, how to put on the wig and gown. So now I'm fully kit, I'm a bit ready. This is my white. As you can see, this, this white have short collars. So if you are going, getting a white, don't buy the white with long collars. This one have short collars, okay? So just get the one with short collar. I'm fully, I'm, I'm well buttoned, alright? So the next thing I have to show you is, um, I need to put on my bib, okay? So this is the, this is the bib, okay? I don't know if you can see it well, this is the bib, alright? So I'm going to put it on, it's not that difficult, okay? First of all, I remove the hook from this place. And then I'm going to put it like this. Right? This is the bib. I'm going to fit it underneath this thing. Underneath my collar, my short collar. I'm going to fit it underneath my collar. Right? Okay, it is it is well fitted. So the next thing I'm going to put on is my um my jacket, alright? My jacket. Now this is my jacket, okay? This is a double breasted suit jacket, right? It's black in color. So I'm going to put it on. If you have a single breast pocket jacket, you can do that. But I always prefer this double breasted same perfect class. You know that class, the gift class. So I prefer the the one with them, um, the double breasted suit, okay? So I'm going to put button it. Gonna button it, it's taking me a while, but yeah. I'm going to button it. Okay, yeah, I'm going to button it. Okay, as you can see, it's taking a good shape now. So the next thing I'm going to put on, you know, in law in court, we are not allowed to dress so you know conspicuously. Okay, Alright, so whichever thing you are putting, ensure that is you know me is not that excessive. Now the next thing I'm going to put on now is my wig. As a lawyer, you have to be fully kitted in that wig, especially if you are going to court like high court, court of appeal, or any superior court of record. But if you are going to um, a magistrate court, maybe all this a magistrate court, then you don't have to put on your wig. I mean, you don't have to put on your wig and gown. But provided you are going to a high court, it is expedient. It is important you put on your wig, your gown, you dress corporate, you know, very appropriately. Otherwise. <laughs> So many things may, may go down there. So you may not even be granted audience. Alright? Not you may, you will not be granted audience if you don't dress well while going to you know superior court of record. So the next thing is my um, wig and my gown. Alright. So this is my gown. This is my gown. This is my gown. Alright? So I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna put it on. Not easy. <laughs> I'm going to put it on. Okay. Yeah. So some normally cross it like this. Some normally cross it like that, but I don't do mine like that. So I'm just going to fit it in so that this will show. Okay. Yeah. Now. Okay, so my gown is ready now. As you can see, this is my gown. It's remaining just one thing. Just one thing, which is my wig. It's remaining my wig. Okay? It's remaining the wig. Now, this is the wig. This is the last thing you should put on. And it should always be on your head when you are in a high court. When it's a superior court of record. Okay, once you are inside the court, ensure that you are fully kitted in this. Okay, so this is the wig. 
Okay. Why buying a wig? Ensure that you buy the one that is, um, you know, <laughs> the one that is not smaller or even bigger than your head. Wow, now I'm ready. I think I'm ready. So this is how what a lawyer looks like while in court. So if you're a law student or a lawyer per se, who is recently called to bar, would want to be dressed like this while, uh, while appearing before a superior court of record. Okay? If you don't appear this way, you will not be granted audience and so many other things may, may happen. So it's important and it's expedient you are well dressed this way. Okay, and then if you ordinarily you should know that you should put on a black shoe. A black shoe. It's very important you put on a black shoe. Then that's it. Okay, so if you find this video useful, kindly subscribe to my channel. Click on the notification bell to keep getting beautiful updates from me.